Hello everyone. In our series of Docplex's KOL interviews, today we have with us Dr. Suresh Advani. Dr. Advani is an eminent oncologist from Mumbai. He has pioneered the hematopoietic stem cell transplantation technique developed for the treatment of leukemia patients. He is also the recipient of many prestigious awards like Padma Shri, Dr. B. C. Roy Award, and the Padma Bhushan Award. Thank you, sir, for your interview today with us. Thank you. So you are the pioneer in stem cell transplantation procedure in India. What was the inspiration behind developing this technique? I think this was uh, really something which came up because of the fact that uh, in those days there was a one disease which was very common. We call it chronic myelar leukemia. Mm -hmm. And this disease had uh, survival, median survival of three years. First phase we used to call it chronic phase. The second phase, we used to call it accelerated phase, and then the blast crisis. Mm -hmm. And the patient used to disappear after that. He used to die. That was very painful for everybody, for patient, for the relatives, and for the doctors who developed association with the patient for three years. And the first report of that which came was on chronic myeloid leukemia, that this has become curable. Even if 10% of these patients get cured, I think this is a big jump. And that's where I got the opportunity to go to U.S. at the Bone Marrow Transplant Mecca Center mm -hmm. at Seattle, at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. And I worked with a Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Donald Thomas, at that center. And I think that was unbelievable. I was there for six months, and six months I could really cover the whole process of transplant. And it was really good opportunity for me as well as my team to apply the whole knowledge which we, which I had uh, experienced with, and apply it at Tata Memorial Hospital. And that's where we did our first transplant successfully. So I think that then it has uh, left. Uh, we have not really gone back on that and continued the process. And today I must say that in India there are at least about 50 centers who are doing the bone marrow transplantation. Dr. Advani, can you please shed some light on the current challenges for stem cell transplantation in India? I think the, the most important fact uh, remains that when you do the transplant you go through two problems. One is the problem of long-term bone marrow separation and during that bone marrow separation period patient has a high incidence of infection whether it's bacterial, fungus, virus and that's a major challenge and even it remains today a major challenge although I must say that we have a better antibacterial antibiotics, better antifungal antibiotics and better antiviral mm -hmm. drugs. So the mortality due to infection has come down. The second major challenge, particularly in allo stem cell transplant, has been the graft versus host disease. And again, I admit today that in contrast to 30 years ago, mm -hmm. it has been really now under control. That today we are able to prevent the graft versus host disease, both acute and chronic with all the new modern immunosuppressive drugs. So I think the challenge is still there to make it completely safe. Because even today, there's a 10% mortality in the bone marrow transplantation, particularly the allo bone marrow transplantation. So what are the complications of hematopoietic stem cell transplantation procedure? I think as I told you, that the major problems in hematopoietic stem cell transplant is the period which can vary from two weeks to four weeks period of neutropenia and it is in this period that uh, the patient is susceptible to infection with bacterial, fungal and viral and to keep him or to prevent the infection as well as to 
treat the infection in case the patient develops it, I think is a major challenge. And I think we have now quite a good understanding in the process of prevention of infection as well as the treatment of infection with widely available antibiotics. So I think the challenge has come down on that area. However, even today, the problem of craft versus host disease mm -hmm. remains, particularly now that we are doing more and more unrelated stem cell transplantation. That's where the problem of GVHD remains. We are also doing haplo-identical uh, stem cell transplantation, where the major challenge is how to suppress the graft versus host disease. And in haplotype, allo and uh, stem cell transplantation, we have almost something like 30 to 50 percent mortality, which is not acceptable. And therefore, I think we need to really improve upon it. And I'm sure in times to come, we will be able to really prevent this complication so that the transplant or stem cell transplant is available for everybody irrespective of the uh, compatibility. Sir, can you please highlight some of the latest advances in the stem cell transplantation procedure and do you think they would improve the chances of cancer survival? I think there is no question on that. That the major challenge which we face today is the availability of HLA compatible donor. With the small families, it has become really difficult for, to get it from brother or sisters. Mm -hmm. Second challenge is to select the patient from the unrelated donors. Donor registries are there, but still 100% match donor availability is very limited. So ultimately you compromise 8 out of 10 or 6 out of 10. And that's where the problem of graft versus host disease and its related mortality comes up. So the first thing which is uh, really happening is uh, the availability of these donors uh, through the worldwide search program of HLA uh, donors. And secondly is also the availability of umbilical cord, which has been now uh, stem cells, which are preserved and uh, the compatibility in that area also may be very helpful in future. So I think this is as far as the HLA compatibility concerns. Second thing where the major progress has occurred is in the prevention of infection. And third thing which is most important is the major challenge of graft versus host disease and its modification. Today we have a large number of newer agents like fludarabine which can prevent the uh, complications of uh, graft versus host disease. We have also various monoclonal antibodies which can again prevent the graft versus host disease. However, the challenge remains and we are in search of a process by which the immunosuppression will prevent the graft versus host disease but retains the graft versus uh, neoplastic cell uh, activity. So I think the major challenge is how you balance out the graft versus host versus graft versus cancer mm -hmm. effect. And if we can have a separation which only allows the separation of graft versus host or tumor or normal cells and still preserve completely the graft versus tumor effect, I think that will be a major victory, which I think in time to come with a better understanding, we will be able to achieve it. So it can be inferred that the stem cell transplant has a positive outcome on the cancer survival. So what is, uh, what is, how well is it accepted in autoimmune diseases? I think uh, uh, since we have improved the results in uh, stem cell transplantation, both uh, auto and uh, the allo, the, now its application even to a diseases like autoimmune disorder has become a reality. And I think uh, that's where the area of progress is there in the stem cell transplantation, whereby we want to really eliminate the immune cells 
which are damaging the body. And that's where the bone marrow stem cell transplant has been a major success. And I'm sure as the mortality reduces, it will be applied more and more to the patients with autoimmune diseases. Dr. Advani, what is your advice for young physicians who want to pursue their career in oncology? I think uh, it is one branch where when we, when I joined this branch, I was asked, why you want to join this branch? But today it's different. It is if any person who comes to me, that what shall I do now? I say join oncology. And why? Because it's a, even today it's a big challenge. And it is undergoing the rapid revolution because of the newer and newer concepts which are coming up, newer and newer innovations which are coming up. So if you want a challenge and you be a part of innovation, I think join the oncology. Sir, as you just mentioned that there are newer developments and innovations in the field of oncology. So do you think an online professional community of doctors like Docplexus can help empower doctors and educate them about these recent advances? I think uh, this is very important factor because time and again I see many patients where people who are not exposed to the newer progress in, in the medical field, they communicate to the patient in a very negative way. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the sometimes people or patients might give up. But I think the important thing is to get exposed to this newer innovation and realize the benefits out of that and guide the patient to take the proper treatment. And I think that's where this communication mm -hmm. through your channel will definitely help all of us together to improve our application in our patients and get the best results. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable time. Thank, Thank you, you very much. To stay updated on our latest QL videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Happy dog flexing!